What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we're gonna check out Triple H may have lied to Cody Rhodes. Cody warned WWE Vince McMahon has no chance in hell and other uh, The Rock related uh, news. Should be a very interesting video. Some of these stories just from the title, I've, I've seen uh, people talk about it on social media. So, I want to see what WrestleMania has to say about them. Appreciate all love and support. We're gonna get right into this one. Should be a very interesting one. What is going on guys? It is WrestleMania here, back with some more news. Join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Vince has zero chance of ever returning to WWE, who told Vince McMahon to resign, a female WWE talent talks the danger of speaking out in WWE, did Triple oh. H lie to Cody, Cody issued a warning to WWE, Liv Morgan criminal case update, and much more. Oh, Be sure damn. to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos, and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new website wrestlelamia.com analysis of the intro and get straight into our first story to be very interesting man Now, first story looks at Vince has zero chance of ever returning to WWE. Wow. On top of today's news is report that Vince McMahon is effectively done with any role in the WWE Damn. ever, thanks to the allegations made against him by former WWE employee Janelle Grant. The conventional wisdom is that even if McMahon prevails, such as the case being dismissed or McMahon prevailing at trial, TKO Holdings wants nothing to do with him. Wow. However, fans know McMahon has an uncanny ability for enduring scandals and walking away smelling like the proverbial roses. Nonetheless, Fightful Select is reporting that WWE talent have been told McMahon's affiliation with WWE is over. There's no foreseeable path for return. Damn. Nonetheless, Ringside News reports some individuals within the talent roster have speculated that McMahon may attempt to work his way back into the company in some capacity, but it has been emphasized to them that Vince McMahon is no longer part of WWE's future plans. Given the shocking nature Damn. of the allegations made against McMahon, which is worth repeating have not been proven in court or admitted to, TKL Holdings likely feels it has no choice but to distance itself from Vince McMahon. The Janelle Grant lawsuit may only be the first of many and there's also the specter of a criminal investigation looming. Consequently, TKO can't afford the negative publicity of giving mm -hmm. McMahon the benefit of keeping him around only to have even more legal proceedings emerge. It's also likely TKO Holdings wants to take steps to remove anyone accused of wrongdoing in order to prevent others from suing TKO and alleging the company mm -hmm. knew that there were bad actors in the company, but that TKO failed to do anything about it. Next up, who told- That's crazy, bro. That's crazy to think that the TKO said, nah, he can't come back. Even if the, the charges get dropped, the case is dismissed, whatever, we still don't want him to come back. The guy that, that built up this company to where it is ends up selling it only for him to get removed. Potentially by his own actions and his wrong uh, wrongdoing. Ah, oh, man, that's that's crazy, bro. That's when you really think about it. Vince McMahon can't come back to WWE ever. It seems like that's that's a wild thing to actually think about. <laughs> it's insanity. Wow. And I'm pretty sure if he was able to weasel his way back, I'm willing to bet there would be other people that would come out with their allegations. And it just, optically wise, it does not look good. And TKO is not trying to lose no money. At the end of the day, what I always say, it's about money. Doesn't matter who started up the business and who made the business what it is. If that same person is costing the business money, that person gonna get removed that's crazy i would have never guessed this would be happening in 2024 vince mcmahon to resign uh, who told mr mcmahon it was time to go and why according to the hollywood reporter things moved quickly after the lawsuit broke and on 26 january endeavor ceo area manual and tko president and coo mark shapiro called mcmahon and told him it would be in the best interest mm -hmm. of the company for him to resign 
he agreed and submitted his resignation. The report stressed that there were concerns about the current WWE advertising partners dropping the WWE as Slim Jim did. Having McMahon resign seemed to have solved this, but what about the WWE's new TV rights deals? Were those jeopardized by the allegations against McMahon? The long-term TV deals with Netflix, NBC Universal, and the CW were not considered to be at risk. But mm -hmm. with NBC Universal's rights for the WWE's premium live events coming up in 2026, and with UFC rights talks upcoming in 2025, keeping McMahon as executive chairman of TKO while the lawsuit unfolded yep. could have been problematic. Sounds about right. So to say that TKO executives reached out to all of the company's rights partners after the news broke, well aware of they needed to keep him in the loop onto what was happening. Mm -hmm. Vince McMahon's abrupt resignation from TKO holding shocked some fans and pundits because they expected him to stand his ground after the news of Janelle Grant's lawsuit broke. However, it appears that there were too many factors against Vince, and perhaps more importantly, he lacked the same power as before. Next up, a and I said this, I said this, I even saw some people talking about, oh, they didn't do nothing, Vince resigned on his own. You have to be a complete moron if you believe that. <laughs> of course he's going to resign, because guess what? The people around him was like, hey, you got to go, and he agreed. Simple. Some of y'all just don't want to want to believe that potentially your Vince McMahon, your guy, was probably out here doing some wild shit. Y'all don't want to believe it. Y'all think, oh, he just he he chose to resign. No, they forced him out. As simple as that. It's business. They're trying to make sure any future deals they got going on can be salvaged and maintained. It's kind of hard to re renegotiate future deals if you got someone that's been accused of some wild allegations. It's hard to keep them in the company. And here's the thing. A lot of these companies probably don't even give a damn about them alleg allegations, but they know their consumers do. They know people that put money into the company. They care about where, where their money is going to. So... For those who really thought Vince just said, you know what, I'm going to, you know, resign myself. No, they hit him up. Hey, Vince, you got to get the hell up out of here. Vince was like, all right, I'm going to go ahead and leave. That's exactly what probably did happen. And it's just more or less proof. Doesn't matter how big you are in the world. Doesn't matter what you've done. If you affect someone's bottom dollar, the bottom line, they will get rid of you. It's crazy. A female talent talks dangerous speaking out in WWE. Will the Vince McMahon lawsuit lead to female wrestlers speaking about any problems in the industry, not necessarily about McMahon, but about bad behavior similar to the allegations made against McMahon? An anonymous female wrestler discussed the situation during a recent episode of News Nation. I wish I could speak on the matter. Unfortunately, I cannot. It's a difficult position because I still work in the industry and unfortunately there's no positive on women speaking out at this time. We mm. tried before but we were surrounded by whispers or radio silence. I really wish I could, I'm just glad this is getting out. As the Vince McMahon lawsuit continues to generate controversy, the media is also reporting on the story. How long will the media follow this story is unknown, as history has shown the media typically moves on from one scandal to something fresher. This was seen after the mm -hmm. Chris Benoit incident, when TV news was flooded with stories about wrestling's dark side, only for the media's attention to turn to something bigger and badder. Next up, the Triple A- and, and that's one of those things where, honestly, we, I, I'm willing to bet more people are going to come out. They're going to start piling up because right now Vince is in a vulnerable state. He doesn't really have many people in the public eye looking at him in a positive light. So now let's pile up. And if these people have proof, it's going to hurt them even more. Even if these people don't have proof, you're piling up. You're making the case. You can make anything damn near believable now because of what uh, we've recently seen with the, uh, the Miss Grant situation with her. With her uh, case and her lawsuit, you can literally make it so much believable on whatever you want people to believe in pertaining to Vince. It's crazy, bro. And, and once again, man brought this on himself. H lied to Cody. When did the WWE chief content oh officer Triple H learn about TKO's decision to book The Rock versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania 40? Fans have been asked this ever since the 2nd February episode of SmackDown seemed to confirm the match was happening. But for some fans, the idea that Triple H booked Cody to win the Rumble must mean that the game was kept in the dark about the decision for The Rock to work WrestleMania. You would think. However, Dave Meltzer suggests this isn't the case, and he noted on X, 
My buddy Jay told me that since his tweets are private, I should probably note that the idea that Paul Levesque didn't know about The Rock signing with the company and him wrestling Reigns when he booked the Rumble is clearly not the case. He knew exactly what he was doing. As we mentioned in a previous mm. video, there are various possible reasons for Cody winning, including elevating him by having him join the elite group of back-to-back -back Royal Rumble winners, throwing fans off the Rock vs. Roman trail, or building up to a bigger storyline such as the Rock vs. Roman becoming a triple threat. Now, there are other possibilities too, and frankly, the idea that WWE would leave Triple H in the dark about major plans for the WWE's yeah. biggest show of the year is really difficult to swallow. Do you think Triple H knew about his major move to The Rock returning to the ring? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Cody Rhodes. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet he knew. I'm willing to bet Triple H had some idea because this is not something they just randomly decided. I know some people think, uh, you know, CM Punk getting injured may have switched things. And at one point I did feel that way, but I do feel like this was, this was going to happen. I do think the Vince thing kind of maybe pushed this to go uh, further than it uh, originally, uh, probably originally planned. Because I'm, I'm thinking, you know, just in my head, I'm thinking maybe The Rock would have wanted to do a longer program with Roman. But with the whole Vince thing happening, CM Punk potentially, even before he got hurt, I think maybe he was going to be involved. Obviously, um, Brock not being involved in WrestleMania. So I'm sure they're like, you know, they just brought The Rock on. Brock's not involved. Vince scandal. Um, You know what? Let's put on the biggest match possible, let's kind of shift the narrative. So I'm willing to bet this has been in the works probably right after the Vince stuff just to get the ball going. Because I just part of me believes maybe The Rock wanted to wait. And he could have waited, but I think he kind of inserted himself as like the savior of WrestleMania potentially. And oh, I can save WrestleMania or I can make things even that much bigger. And I don't know, man. It, it it may not be working in the in their favor like they think it will. So we'll see. Rhodes warned WWE. Now, the rest I of heard the world about is this. Talking about this segment between Cody Rhodes, The Rock, and Roman Reigns. A new report from Fightful Select has indicated that Rhodes warned WWE that fans might not be as accepting as they would like to have The Rock replace him in a manner seen on SmackDown. Those I'm sure he probably did. That Cody Rhodes expressed to WWE that he thought the reaction wouldn't be the desired one, but still did the segment and was said to other have been in a somber mood after. Other sources claim that this decision goes all the way up to Ari Emanuel and Mark Shapiro and was even above Nick Khan and Triple H. The segment went down and featured The Rock and Cody Rhodes shaking hands. We haven't been able to find out what The Rock said to Cody Rhodes verbatim, but learned it was something in reference to their fathers. We've long heard that The Rock and Cody maintained a great relationship for years. It's unclear if The Rock vs Reigns is still the plan for WrestleMania 40, but however, fans aren't keeping quiet and they've also shown their support for the American Nightmare by gobbling up his merchandise. Yeah. Wrestling News reported, since then there have been strong reactions from fans, whether it be at live events for yep. several hashtags that have been trending for days on social media, or the Rocky Sucks chance during Monday's Raw. The fans are showing the company their displeasure in a new way by boosting his t-shirt design on WWE Shop. While fans seem disgusted with the current plans, Meltzer noted that Raw sold an insane number of tickets for the 5th February show after The Rock's Crazy. appearance on SmackDown, with Meltzer stating that the current controversy is benefiting the WWE financially. The story about Cody Rhodes' new shirt suggests this as well, and they may feel it justifies any decision to make Cody wait a bit longer to finish his story. Next up, The Rock. And, and once again, what I've been saying this entire video, it's about the money. So yeah, he, The Rock may be getting some negative, uh, uh, I wouldn't say negative press, but like he may be getting some backlash, but it worked. Because guess what? That Monday Night Raw sold a lot of tickets. People wanted to see what Cody had to say. What was going to happen? They also wanted to be able to voice their opinion about supporting Cody. They're buying out his merch. This situation with The Rock, even though it's not ideal, it made Cody a bigger star than he's been so far in the company. Dead ass. I haven't seen this much support for Cody in a while. I didn't even see this much support for Cody when he was going for Roman at last year's WrestleMania because I remember so many of the fans saying, we want Sammy in the main event of WrestleMania. Now, he started getting support towards, you know, right before WrestleMania, but he did not get this much support as he's getting right now, bro. That's insanity. So, in TKO's, WWE's mind, bro, they're just like, oh, well, 
It's making us more money. Well, especially in WWE side of things, it's making us more money. Shirts selling like hotcakes. People are coming to the shows because they want to see Cody. The live shows, the live show appearances probably going to, they want to see Cody, they want to su support Cody. They want to voice their opinion. It's money. They win. WWE, they win. Whether the online fans community, the online community likes it, WWE wins. Bucks Instagram invaded by Cody fans. Yeah, I've seen are this just too. Expressing their dissatisfaction with The Rock during TV shows, they're also invading his Instagram. The Rock recently posted a video from last Friday's SmackDown with this message. Yep. Last Supper, see all in Vegas this Thursday, People's Champ. Cody supporters didn't pass at the opportunity nope. to vent with some fans replying with the We Want Cody hashtag and others commenting, please don't take away Cody's moment and The Rock should sit this one out. Hashtag We Want Cody. Mm -hmm. Now this doesn't mean that The Rock doesn't have his supporters as Rock fans posted their excitement for Thursday's press conference and a potential Rock vs Roman match. Well, one thing is clear, the WWE Universe is paying closer attention to things and their yeah. vocal reactions are also drawing mainstream attention. Yep. Did the WWE ask for anything more? Next up, a former NWA Women's Champion rejects WWE. It looks like former NWA Women's Champion Camille could be heading to AEW instead of the WWE. The 31-year-old wrestler held the NWA title for an incredible 812 days and is considered one of wow. wrestling's top three agents. At one point, it appeared she was WWE bound with stories suggesting That's she would report time. to NXT. But now PW Insider is reporting that talks with WWE have hit a roadblock and that Camille is in deep discussions with AEW. She appeared in AEW during a reign as NWA Women's Champion and also appeared backstage on the 18th January episode of Dynamite. Now, it's important to note that there are no reports of Camille signing with anyone yet and that she could find herself negotiating with WWE again after she sees what WWE is offering. Mm. AEW appears to be retooling its women's division and Camille could add a lot to its roster. Although they have a decent sized women's roster, the quality of talent is hit and miss. AEW president Tony Khan said he has a big announcement to make on the 7th February Dynamite and some fans believe it will involve Mercedes Money or mm. Kazuchika Okada signing with a promotion. And finally, hold on, hold on. I just want to make sure they set the, the the right amount of time on there because that's a long time to hold a championship. I just want to play that. Back instead one more time. of the WWE, the 31 year old wrestler held the NWA title for an incredible 812 days, and it's cons that's incredible. That's pretty tough. That's pretty tough. Hey, wherever she goes, hopefully they, you know, if she goes to WWE, that's cool. Hopefully they book her right. If she goes to, well, I'm sure they probably would have put her on NXT to get more people familiar with her, integrate her into the WWE system. So if she does end up in the NXT, that's awesome for her. She does end up in AEW, that's awesome for her. As long as she gets utilized properly. Because you don't have someone hold a championship for 800 plus days and not you bring them into a company and utilize them and make them a big star. Once again, I'm, I'm so, so tired of the AEW, WWE tribalism. Wherever she goes... Hey, as long as they book her correctly and it's for her best interest and it works out, that's all that fucking matters, man. <laughs> so good for her potentially, you know, getting people to bid for her, man. Get some get some liner pockets with the money that she deserves. The criminal case is closed. I definitely Last heard about this least, too. Excellent news for Raw Superstar Liv Morgan as a criminal case for marijuana possession is over. PW Insider is reporting, mm -hmm. although Morgan was slated for a 20 February hearing in regard to the only charge left pending from her arrest, the charge of possession of marijuana, not more than 20 grams, PWInsider.com has learned that on 31st January, Morgan's attorney entered a plea of nolo contendere in regard to the charge. Oh, that wow. is a plea in which the defendant accepts conviction as though a guilty plea had been entered against them, but that does not officially admit guilt to the charges oh, against them. I've the report added that a fine was imposed against Morgan as the court records list an assessment of 500 $43, but not any additional fees. Previous reports indicated that Morgan had no heat with the WWE management I over the case and it would have no bearing would. on her status in the company. She was still recovering from her shoulder injury when she was arrested, but is now back in the ring, having returned at the Rumble. The timing is good as she can now focus on making the most of things on the road to WrestleMania. But they have it, folks. Yeah, the world is I, I, I didn't think. I didn't think there was going to be any real heat. Uh, they're potentially teasing some type of well, not teasing, but uh, she mentioned on Monday Night Monday Night Raw going after Rhea Ripley. So they're going to probably put her in a high-profile segment. I'm sure they weren't going to trip. It, it, it wasn't that big of a deal, to be honest with you. So I'm glad that situation is behind her. She can move forward and go from there. I know some of y'all think, oh, I hate Liv. No, I don't hate Liv. I'm not the biggest fan of her in-ring style, but I can understand her passion. 
there's one thing I can give Liv Morgan credit. She definitely is passionate about the wrestling business. She actually does care. So I will definitely give her that. Um, but glad that things are, you know, moving in the right direction for her. But comment down below. Let me know how y'all feel about all of this news we heard in this video. For me, probably the most shocking is knowing that Vince McMahon is gone for good this time and probably can't come back. That's crazy. That's that's definitely did not have that in my 2024 bingo card. Vince McMahon being removed from WWE for good. Did not see that coming. But comment down below. Let me know the most interesting story from this particular video. Well, most interesting news from this particular video. Shout out to WrestleMania once again. Go subscribe to him. Link to the original video will be down below. But I appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.